Welcome everyone to our webinar today, Burns and Wilcox Personal Umbrella powered by Appulate. We're very excited to have you on the call today. So thanks so much for taking uh, part of your morning for some of you and afternoon uh, for others. Uh, so currently everyone is muted due to the size of the webinar. However, we would like to hear from you. So please stick around until the end. We'll then have a live Q&A session so in the meantime, so you don't forget your questions, feel free to type them in that GoToMeeting side panel in the question section, and we will get to those questions at the end. My name is Vanessa Dulier kamara I'm the Director of Customer Development here at Appulate, and I'm joined by Jeff Leone, the Underwriting Manager at Burns & Wilcox. In a few minutes, I'm going to take you through a live demonstration so you can see exactly how this all works and how this all looks in Appulate. But before I do, I'm actually going to toss this over to Jeff to give us a bit of background on Burns and Wilcox and the Personal Umbrella Program. Jeff? Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, and, and today, I'm actually joined by a couple of team, team members, uh, Mary Dalrymple and um, Rachel Hillis, uh, who are some of the people that, again, work on my team here. So. I uh, appreciate everyone's time, uh, and so just to kick things off, I wanted to give everyone that, that doesn't know, or even if you do know, a little bit of background on uh, Burns & Wilcox. Um, Burns & Wilcox is actually coming up, as you probably noticed from, from the beginning of this presentation, uh, it's 50th anniversary, so, so we'll be celebrating that a little bit um, a little bit later in the year. Um, but with that, I mean, we bring over 50 years of ENS specialty insurance expertise uh, to our clientele, who uh, who is the uh, you know who is the retail agent yourselves, uh, we're North America's largest independently held wholesale broker, uh, and we specialize in a number of different areas uh, within the excess and surplus lines marketplace: commercial, personal, professional, environmental. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about personal umbrella. Um, just to, to show off our uh, our strength, uh, we like to throw this slide up there. Um, under the H.W. Kaufman Group, um, Burns & Wilcox is, is the flagship company, but we have approximately 15 uh, total companies. So you can see some of them, some of them up there, uh, from Burns & Wilcox Canada to some of our London brokers, such as Chesterfield Group London, Looking Patrick. Uh, we have an in-house uh, insurance company in Attain, so uh, kind of your PNC, your typical PNC ENS carrier. Uh, we have our own uh, inspection company in, in a firm. Uh, we have uh, a middle market property management, Global Access Partners, Premium Finance Stone, uh, in Stonemurth. So what, what we really have are 15 companies all designed to make the process and, and make dealing with Burns and Wilcox as efficient and as profitable as can be for all parties involved. Uh, we want to service our clients. We want our clients to service their clients uh, as best they can. And, and, and the way that we've grown both organically and through acquisition, uh, has allowed us to do just that uh, over the course of the last uh, 50 years. Um, I, I, I really like to just throw this slide out there, a little bit of, of bragging, some of our sponsorships. Uh, the last couple of years, uh, we brought on Jimmy Walker, uh, and then I believe last year, Webb Simpson, uh, who have both been uh, spectacular uh, promotional um, uh, team members for us. Jimmy winning the PGA in 2016, and uh, I think uh, Webb won the players just this uh, last year. Uh, and then, of course, home, homegrown. Um, we are based out of Farmington Hills, Michigan, which is a uh, suburb of Detroit. Uh, and with that, we're, we're big hockey fans, so we have a, a big partnership between us and the Red Wings uh, down at LCA, the new Little Caesars Arena downtown. Uh, so these are some of our, our brand ambassadors, brand champions. We're proud to have them as uh, as team members, and uh, you know, make sure to look for them and look for our logo next time you're watching a, a big golf uh, event, even though all the majors are done for this year. So with that, um, I wanted to talk a little bit just about my unit. Um, Burns & Wilcox is a company of well over 2,000 associates, um, probably with about 1,000 of those in the uh, underwriting realm of things spread out across the country. We have uh, about 48 offices in the United States, six in Canada, three in London, or sorry, three in England. Um, with that, client services is, uh, you know, comparatively a, a small piece of that. We're a team located at, at our corporate headquarters here in Farmington Hill, uh, and we're dedicated to working with agents from across the country. Uh, we work with agents that happen to not have a relationship with someone at Burns & Wilcox currently. 
Um, really, our unit looks at a number of different types of submissions. Our bread and butter is the ENS personal line space, so your homeowners, your dwelling, personal umbrella. Uh, that's what we're going to be talking a little bit more about here in a second. Um, uh, but with that, uh, we'll also be servicing the Appulet portal. Uh, so that's that's kind of the next piece that we have to, to, to talk about. Uh, we're proud to, to partner with Accurate, um and launch the personal umbrella product uh, to agents for the purposes of quoting. Uh, it allows uh, brokers and agents uh, easy access to a product uh, that a lot of their clients will need, uh, and uh, it allows them to quote the personal umbrella quickly and efficiently, uh, and ultimately better serve their their clientele. Uh, the uh, Hudson is the carrier that the personal umbrella product will be written to, they're an A-rated carrier. Um, and they're a carrier that we have a really great relationship, which allows us a lot of flexibility and latitude when it comes to um, getting projects like this done, or if there, if there are some kind of issues, we're typically able to get them resolved because of our size and because of our relationship uh, with Hudson. That's really true across a number of different markets and a number of different areas of insurance, but we won't get into that today. Um, so yeah. Well, great. Thank right. you so much for that background, Jeff. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right. So let's get right into our live demonstration. I'm going to do that here by pulling open an accord form that I have filled out and ready to go. You may have this personal umbrella application or accord form filled out in a PDF as I have it here. You may have this filled out in your agency management system. You may not have one filled out at all, and in either of those cases, or any of those cases, you can go ahead and use Appulate to submit to Burns & Wilcox. Now, if you have the Accord form information filled out in the PDF or in your management system, you'll want to start there because Appulate keeps you from rekeying any of this information. You can simply bridge this over using our uplink tool. So all you have to do is print from this PDF or from your management system to the Appulate Uplink Printer option. And this is something that installs on your desktop in less than one minute, and I'll make sure to go over that at the end during setup in case some of you don't have this installed yet. So print your record form to the Appulate Uplink Printer option and confirm your Appulate credentials. This will go ahead and open up Appulate for you automatically. It will create the insured, it will create the line of business, and bridge over all relevant data so that you don't have to spend any time rekeying it. For those of you that don't have access to a management system, that don't have Accord forms filled out, no worries, as I mentioned before, Appulate is still for you, and I'll show you how you can get started directly in Appulate a little later on in the demonstration. So here we are, it bridged over the information, it created the insured file in Appulate. So this is our, our example for today, Valerie Jones created the personal umbrella line of business here within Appulate. It also bridged over the effective date that I had on the Accord form. If this is outdated, no problem, you can make updates to your Accord form right within Appulate here. Simply go ahead and click on the uh, date there and choose the appropriate date from the calendar pop-up. So we'll go ahead and choose today and hit save. And now that's updated. So the next step here is to add a market. It wants you to choose the market that you're looking to work with uh, or uh, do the submission for within Appulate. So we've chosen Burns and Wilcox. And to the right-hand side, there's a letter indication that will help guide you through the submission process. So it's going to tell you all of the questions that are missing and required, uh, and you'll have to answer those down below in what we call our SMART questionnaire. Once you fulfill the requirements, then you can click on the Submit button. So you'll see that currently it's in orange. It won't let you hit Submit until you fulfill the requirements. And the reason for that is that it's going to give you a quick quote. So as soon as you fulfill the requirements and give this, uh, click the Submit button, the uh, quote will be generated here. So that's what we're gonna show you. So I'm gonna go through this and answer these questions as quickly as possible. We do wanna take the happy path so I can show you the whole uh, demo from start to finish here. So I'm just gonna answer this quickly. This is a dynamic questionnaire. So based on how you answer your questions, 
certain questions may appear or questions may be eliminated. And also, depending on how you answer certain questions, it will change the letter indication here at the top of the page. Uh, so it may give you a U referred to underwriting if uh, it has to be reviewed before you can get a quote, and it may also decline based on how you answer certain questions. So here we have a green A for accepted. We have a green submit button that we can click on, so we'll go ahead and do so. And in just a few seconds, you're going to see a quote pop up. So currently it's generating that quick quote for you. So we'll let it load here for just a second, and then I'll go ahead and open this right up. So when you click that submit button, as soon as it loads, you have this quick quote here for you to open up and review. So go ahead and just uh, click it to open it. It'll open up on your computer just as it opens up any PDF, and you can scroll through this to review what's on your quick quote. Jeff, did you want to say a few words about what's included in the quick quote? Um, sure, I'll say a couple words. I don't think there's too many more than a couple to say. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward quote, and it offers up what the, the limits are, um, and of course, indication and pricing. Uh, it gives you some of the other limits, or UM, UIM, uh, and tells you some of the applicable forms. So it, it's a pretty short and to the point, non binding uh, quote or indication quote. Um, all your limits are there, as you can see, and again, you have different limit knowledge options there at the bottom. Uh, and if you pay attention um, to those. The price that we see here now, um, when we come time to finalize the quote, uh, you'll notice that the, the pricing may or may not be the same. So that's something to watch out, uh, watch out for. But we'll, we'll talk about that in just a, a second. Thanks, Nessa. Thank you, Jeff. All right, so back into Appulate. You reviewed your quick quote. If you would like to share this with your insured, you can do that by clicking on these three dots on the right-hand side and click on Send by Email. If you would like your detailed bindable quote, go ahead and go to the subject tab where you now have one more question left to answer and click on yes under would you like to proceed to a detailed quote. And once you do that, more questions will appear. So this is these are the additional questions that you will need to answer so that you can get your detailed quote. So again, let me try to power through this for you as quickly as possible to answer all of the questions that have a red asterisk next to them. Those are questions that are missing and required. We do have a helpful mark all as no button on the top right hand side of the page. So uh, sections like this one here that are very heavy with yes, no questions Instead of having to go through this and click on uh, each one, you can mark all as no, and then go in there and change any that are yes, so that you're not, again, having to click on each individual one. Okay, we're coming to the end here. Three questions left to answer in the policy section, and then we will get our detailed quote. All right, so we've answered the missing and required questions. We now have a green A for accepted, which means that we can take any next steps. So uh, what we'll have to do here is click on request quote. Once you click on request quote, which is immediately under the, or directly under the quick quote option, it will then go ahead and generate your detailed quote. So again, just give it a few seconds here. You can see that it's moving, and then we'll be able to open up that detailed quote. There we go, so detailed quote is ready for you very quickly and automatically. Go ahead and open it up just like you did with the quick quote. It'll open up in a PDF here and you can review the information that is now in the detailed quote. Jeff, anything on this? Uh, I, I don't think you're gonna notice too many differences between this quote and the last quote, all the same limits, the forms are there. Um, you know, the big thing is gonna be um, well, obviously, reviewing this quote, making sure it's the way that you want it, but uh, you'll see the, the subjectivity is listed there, uh, and then the pricing, once again. So um, what I noticed from the last quote to this quote uh, is the pricing is, in fact, the same. Now, granted, depending upon the information that you input into the detailed quote section, 
uh, it will or it, it can and, and possibly will uh, change the pricing per limit. So you're going to want to pay attention to that because you're probably going to indicate to your client, uh, okay, $245 for uh, you know one million limit. Then you're going to go through the process and you're going to input some more detailed information. It's going to come back, okay, well now it's you know $285. So usually you're not going to see a big swing, but I mean you will see a difference, and your client probably needs to be you know aware that that's a possibility. Very good. Thank you, Jeff. Back over into Appulate here. So uh, just like you did with the quick quote, you could share your detailed quote with your insured as well. Click on the three dots on the right-hand side, click on send by email, and it will go ahead and send it right over to them. Now at this time, if you would like to move forward and request to bind, you can do so by clicking on this button here next to the detailed quote or in line with the detailed quote. And it's in orange because there is one missing step that it's gonna take you through before you can request to bind. So if you are not yet appointed with Burns and Wilcox, no problem. As you can see through my demo, without getting appointed, you can still get your quick quote and even your detailed quote. And then at the time of requesting to bind, then it will take you through the automated appointment process. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and click on get appointed and it will take you through the steps that you need to become appointed with Burns and Wilcox. Those are all listed here in this page that it just automatically took me over to. So you can see the status says not appointed. It lists all of these steps that you need to take to become appointed. I went ahead and took care of some of those for us before the uh, demo here so that you're not spending too much time watching me electronically sign documents and, and upload uh, necessary documents to move forward. Pretty straightforward, the appointment agreement is available here to electronically sign. Click on the pencil mark or pen mark here under action and it will take you through the electronic signature process. Uh, once it is signed, uh, it, once you click on request appointment, it will then send it over to Burns and Wilcox to review and sign. It will also include all of the other attachments that you have included here. So it will list what those attachments need to be and you can attach them by clicking on select uh, to browse your computer and upload those documents. You can also drag and drop documents. Once all of those have been loaded and the uh, appointment agreement has been signed, go ahead and click on request appointment. This will change your status to say pending request. It will trigger a notification to the Burns and Wilcox team. They will review all of the documents that you've attached and the appointment agreement. If they uh, move forward, they will go ahead and sign it, mark you as an appointed agent, and then you will receive email notification letting you know of that. So I believe that the Burns and Wilcox team is currently working on that in the background so that we can keep moving forward with our demo. Jeff, let me know when you're ready. Uh, we should have uh, appointed you. Enough. Very good. Let me refresh my screen here. And yes, the status does say appointed. Remember, you will receive an email notification, so you don't have to keep coming back in here to check what the status is. Once you receive email notification, go ahead and come back into Appulate. Go back to your insured file. The one that we're working on for this demo is Valerie Jones. I'm going to click the drop down menu here and jump right into that personal umbrella file that we were working on. So I now have a green request to bind button that I can click on to move forward. So I'll do so. And it says to request to bind, complete the following steps. So it's all automated, it's all built in here. All you need to do to move forward with the request to bind is open the signing tool to electronically sign the Hudson personal umbrella form. So that is needed in order to request to bind. So that is outlined for you here. You'll go ahead and click on it and it will ask for you and for your applicant to electronically sign it. And once you do so, it will go ahead and give you a proceed button that you can click on. Once you electronically sign it, click that proceed button, then your status will change to say requested to bind. It will of course trigger a notification to the Burns and Wilcox team. They will review it. They will go ahead and bind it. And at that point, you will receive email notification. So you do not have to um, keep logging back in here to check to see if it has been bound or not. You will receive notification 
and you can log back into Appulate to take a look at what that looks like. So your status will have changed to say bound. All right, so just a recap here. We've bridged over our accord form. We answered any missing and required questions. We clicked on the submit button and we got our quick quote. We answered yes in the subject area to proceed with a detailed quote. We answered the missing and required questions there. Then we clicked on generate quote to give us our detailed quote. We shared that with our insured. We clicked on request to bind. If you aren't appointed, it takes you through the appointment process first and then through the request to bind process. All of this is automated and the entire process is fast, it's efficient, and it's all uh, here within Appulate. Now, for those of you that don't have access to Accord Forms, I mentioned to you that you can get started directly from Appulate. So let me take just a moment to show you those steps. You would go to appulate.com sign in page. The very first page that you get signed into is this insured, all insured page, where on the top left hand side, you'll see add new customer or prospect. Once you click on that, you will go ahead and choose person from the type because this is personal umbrella, not business. If you choose business on the next screen, you won't see the personal umbrella option in the drop down menu. So first make sure to choose person and go ahead and type in the insured's name here and click continue. On the next page, you'll choose the insurance line or product. And this is what I was referring to earlier. So you do wanna make sure that you have umbrella, personal listed as your option here that you'll choose from. Go ahead and plug in the effective and expiration date. It will automatically generate one for you. You're welcome to make edits to it. And then click on continue. Then the process from here remains the same. So you'll go ahead and click on Burns and Wilcox and you'll go through this to answer all of the missing and required questions. Click the submit button for your quick quote, finish up to get your detailed quote, and then you can move forward with appointment and requesting to bind. All right, so let's go ahead and go over setup, and then we will go ahead and, and give you a little bit more information, and then we'll open it up for questions. So we're almost done here. All right, so for setup, everyone that was invited to this webinar today already has an Appulate account with credentials. Go ahead and go to appulate.com slash sign in to enter in your credentials and get signed into Appulate. If you forgot your password, if you feel like you never received the email, don't worry, just go ahead and click on forgot password. It will ask you to input your email address and it will send you an email to reset your password. If this invitation was forwarded to you and you believe that you do not have an Appulate account after you've gone through the forgot password steps, you can always click on sign up now. It'll just take a few seconds to get you an Appulate account. Using Appulate for our partners like Burns and Wilcox is absolutely at zero cost to you, the agent. All right, so once you are logged in under the uh, help section here, I'm sorry, under the tool section here, you have Appulate Uplink. So you'll want to download Uplink uh, to your computer if you want to bridge over Accord Forms from an Accord PDF or from your agency management system. So choose your management system from the drop-down menu. Part of what makes Appulate unique is that we work with any agency management system. So go ahead and choose the appropriate one. There is an other option if you don't see yours listed. And then click on the Download Uplink driver. It takes less than a minute to install on your desktop. If you need detailed instructions, you can click on this link here. You can also always email support at appulate.com for additional assistance. Again, it just takes less than one minute to install this on your desktop, and then it sets up as a print driver. So you'll see it along with your home and office printer. The other thing I wanted to mention here is that you do wanna make sure that Burns & Wilcox is listed as one of your selected markets. Under markets and selected are all of the markets that you've chosen to work with in Appulate. So Burns and Wilcox does need to be on this list. We've taken care of that for everyone invited to the webinar today. If, you, uh, if you're missing it from the list, you can always go to markets and available, type in Burns and Wilcox and click the plus sign here on the right hand side to add it. 
All right, so that's it for setup. I'm gonna go ahead and take us back to our slides. We have just one more slide to work through here, and then we'll go ahead and open it up for any questions. Jeff, over to you. Yeah, thanks, Vanessa, appreciate it. Um, so uh, just a, a few housekeeping items uh, here to kind of cap things off. Um, turnaround time, as you can see, basically as fast as you can get into Apula and you can input the information. Um, with the caveat that uh, if something does need to be referred, then you're looking at about a 24-hour turnaround. And it could be faster than that, it just kind of depends. Um, so what happens is that if some of that information you input triggers a referral, um, we will get notified on our end. My team will have to go and review the information uh, and go ahead and get that approved. Uh, and then once it's been approved, you'll get you'll get that approval back and then you get your detailed quote. So that, that could make uh, turnaround time a little bit longer than where you just had, had a fully uh, authorized quote from, from the get-go. Um, as you can see, appointments were handled through the system. Uh, we, we can actually handle them ourselves if you have, if you have questions on that. And you can always reach out to, to, to me or to the team. Our email information, uh, contact information is on that uh, next segment down. But uh, going through the system, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. It shows you, know, it shows you all the information you need. That comes over to us. We review it. And then we, uh, we get it rolling for you. Um, again, uh, you can contact my team at the contact information right there for some lead quarter firms at Wilcox.com, uh, or you can call my team's centralized phone number, uh, or contact me directly uh, if you need to talk something out. So, um, outside of that, I, I don't really have too much uh, too much else. Very good. Thank you, Jeff. So now let's go ahead and open it up for any questions or comments. Again, go ahead and type them in the GoToMeeting side panel in the question section. We will make sure to uh, ask those questions out loud, and either myself or someone from the Burns and Wilcox team will go ahead and answer those. So first call for any questions. And I already see some rolling through here. So the first question, actually, it's a comment. It says, happy 50th anniversary to Burns and Wilcox. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The next uh, one here is, how do I get the Appulate link to print in Hawksaw? So that's a great question. I can go ahead and take that one. So Appulate works with any agency management system, including Hawksoft. The way that it works is uh, as a print driver. So once you download Uplink, then you need to go into Hawksoft and you need to print, just as if you were going to print to your Appulate, uh, I'm sorry, to your office printer or to your, your, um, your home printer, but instead you'll choose the Appulate Uplink as your printer option. If you need additional assistance with that, please email support at appulate.com and we'll make sure to get you all um, sorted out there. Uh, so the next question here is uh, customers e-sign, must they be present at agent's computer? Uh, this is all electronic signature. Anyone that is required to sign it's all built into the system, so if it does require the insured signature, it will go ahead and send them an email with a link that they can click on to go through the signature process. They do not have to be present uh, with you to do that. There's nothing that they need to download or sign up for. It's all automated. It's all built in and ready to go. Um, so next question or, or comment here, notice didn't put anything under personal auto. Why wasn't it added? Jeff, did you want to take that one? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, really, the reason that we, I mean, obviously, personal umbrella is going to go over a number of different lines. So, like your homeowners, you know, most commonly your auto as well. Um, sometimes your personal auto, some different things. Uh, for the purposes of the webinar and just to keep things a, a little bit cleaner uh, and a little bit shorter, we didn't input anything under the personal auto section. But that is an area um, that can trigger a lot of uh, the potential referrals. So uh, if you have an, an older driver, I think 80 or over uh, might cause a referral uh, or possibly even a declination. Uh, youthful drivers can be a little bit more difficult. Uh, and of course, you know, anybody that's got multiple violations or especially a youthful driver with, with violations. So some of those things can, can trigger a few more questions would have made the webinar a little bit more um, complicated, um, but they're definitely something just to, to take note of and, and make sure that you have some good inf information surrounding those areas for when, um, 
uh, you know, when the time, time comes when you have a submission. Very good. Thank you, Jeff. Next question. Personal umbrella, is that the only product option from Appulate? So, uh, uh, well, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Vanessa. Uh, I guess there's a couple of ways to answer that. Jeff, you go ahead first uh, in regards to Burns and Wilcox. Well, yeah, for, for right now, um, Personal Umbrella is the only product offering for uh, uh, Burns and Wilcox through Appulate. So uh, to simply for Burns and Wilcox, yes, the only product at this moment. Thank you. And Appulate is for all personal and commercial lines of business. All right, uh, the next question here is, are emails sent to clients from the agent's email as from? Uh, yes, yeah, so it does notify them that it's coming from you. All right, last call for any questions. Very good. It looks like we've answered all of the questions for today. If you do think of any after the webinar, the contact information for Jeff and his team is still up on my screen, so feel free to jot that down. If you have any additional questions for Appulate, you can always email support at appulate.com with your questions. We can route you in the right direction from there. Uh, Jeff, uh, I think that's all from us. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you, Vanessa, and thank you, everyone, for uh, taking the time to, to view this webinar and be with us. So, um, you know, good luck in all your endeavors, and go use Accurate. Thank you. Thanks, guys.